Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox. I am super excited for today's video because I have a back to school, kind of back to school. I guess it's like dorm inspired room decor. And guys, these are not just like dorm friendly room decor. Like you do not have to put this in a dorm if you don't have one. These are just more dorm friendly in the sense that they are great for storage. They're smaller scale items. They could be hung on the wall easily without having to hammer in. Things like that, like I just keep in mind when I create these projects. So they're also great for your apartment or your home or your bedroom. They're just really all around just great room decor items. That are on trend super cute plus also very affordable to recreate i decided to wear my little sweater vest today you guys because i was like you know what we are making a back to school well i guess kind of back to school like video and i was like this kind of reminds me of like a vintage school outfit you know i'm gonna channel my inner vintage school boy yes i am and just a quick life update for you for anyone that is curious um in my last video i mentioned that i thought i was getting sick but i actually found out that I have the most impacted wisdom teeth ever. Literally all four of my wisdom teeth are impacted and the pain in this in my jaw right here has been excruciating. Like it is absolutely insane for the past full week because I had to wait a week. I actually saw an oral surgeon yesterday. I'm getting my wisdom teeth out tomorrow on Friday, um, which I'm really honestly kind of scared about because I've never been put under anesthesia before. Um, so if you guys have ever like been put under anesthesia or got your wisdom teeth out, I would love to hear the positive, please keep in mind, the positive, responses in the comment section below so i might not have a video for like a week or two on this channel just wanted to let you guys know um in case you were curious of where i'm going to be going but i am getting my wisdom teeth out on friday wish me luck cross your fingers i'm sure i'll do absolutely fine and i'll definitely keep you guys updated over on instagram as well which if you are not already following lone fox home i'm drew scott those are my two instagrams subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and diy content every single week but let's just jump on into today's dorm decor projects Jumping right into the first project, we are using these Sorzo rugs from Ikea. These are like a plain cream woven rug and they only cost $3.99. And the great thing about these is if you want to, you can actually dye them to match your personal decor or paint on them, whatever you want. But I also picked up these rug options just to show you guys the different options of rugs. But what you're gonna start off by doing is folding this rug in half, kind of hot dog style if you remember how to do that. And then I am taking my embroidery floss and a needle and I'm just going to be doing a blanket stitch across the entire side to close this off because there is a fold on the opposite side we don't actually need to close that off so this project has very minimal hand sewing and also keep in mind guys if you do have a sewing machine I think that that would even be better I just like to show you the alternate way because not everyone has a sewing machine nowadays so I went ahead and I did a blanket stitch which is basically just putting your needle down and then pulling it through the loop um, it's super simple and easy but you can really use any stitch to sew off this end and then just make sure to secure it once you get to the end Next, I am rolling the pillow inside out just to have the right side now showing. And you're gonna see a little bit of that seam line, but I actually like that look. I think it looks very kind of boho and handmade. And then on one end of the pillow, I'm just doing a very simple straight stitch all the way down. This is just going to lock off that end um, just to make it so that we can stuff this side of the pillow. I'm pulling out some of this polyfill fiber. I actually got mine in a large bag at Joann's Fabrics, but if you have old pillows, you can definitely repurpose those. You can go to the thrift store and find old pillows and pull the fluff out of them. Anywhere that you can get some fluff from, just try to find it and put it in your pillow. And then what you're going to do is just secure your other side the exact same way as we did the first side. This side will be a bit more challenging just because there is that fluff in there. So you're gonna have to hold it down nice and secure and then just sew all the way across. And then once you reach the end, just tie it off in a couple of knots and that completes your oversized sort of lumbar pillow um, and I love the way this turned out. Moving on into dorm decor project number two, we are using the Aptit Lig cutting boards from Ikea. These are $9.99 each, and I absolutely love these. They're such amazing quality, and I'm starting off by taking a ruler and going about half an inch down from the top, and then I'm just marking an inch every, or every single inch down the cutting board. These are gonna be just placeholders for where we're gonna put these golden nails, which I got these at Target if you were curious. And next what I'm doing is I'm creating like a kickstand for the back. I actually don't know what this is called. This is like a makeshift, super affordable kickstand. So what I'm doing is taking 
some duct tape and a piece of wood I got at Joann's Fabrics. It was already cut down to this length in like the pre-cut wood section. And I'm using some duct tape to tape halfway on our cutting board, halfway on the wood, flipping it over and repeating the same process. So we're basically creating a super affordable hinge as you can see here. And I did go ahead um, and stand it upright and use a ruler just to measure out how much cording I'm going to need because we're gonna make a stopper so this hinge doesn't go too far. And I also actually went down and um, hot glued down that duct tape just to make sure it was super strong bond. And then I went ahead and I hot glued down our little piece of string. Sorry, my hair is in the way. I glued down the piece of string to the back side of the cutting board and also to the underside of that wood piece. And this is just going to make it so that when you actually open it up, it can only extend to a certain length, which is gonna hold your cutting board up. Just hammer in your nails the top portion and that is your finished display rack for your jewelry and also keep in mind if you wanted to hang this on the wall just create a loop with that cording on the back side and you're good to go To start off this next project, we are using the Tijana storage boxes. These are like a cardboard storage box and they range from $1.99 to $3.99 in price. So I'm opening these up and just constructing them as the instructions show. They're super simple. You just kind of fold the underside and create a nice little box out of it. But we are actually going to be covering them in this really cute sunflower fabric that I got at Joann's Fabrics. I also wanted to do one in canvas, but I ended up just doing them both in the sunflower because I really love the way it looked. So what I'm doing is I'm placing the lid down first and I'm just cutting with about a two inch allowance on each edge just to make sure it was nice and secure and then I'm using my Fabri-Tac adhesive which you guys have seen me use if you watched my last DIY school supplies video and I'm just gluing it down and then using a popsicle stick to really bond the fabric to the actual lid and then what I'm doing is I'm going to be cutting up from the end cutting up to the corners these are going to be how we're going to be creating the flaps and a very nice clean box so I'm wrapping around the edge the fabric on one side on the longer edge and I'm also going to wrap it a little bit on the front side that way when we fold up this front panel here it covers so it's gonna cover that section so as you can see here just adding glue to the side and a little bit to the opposite side as well and I'm gluing all the way around then I'm also gonna be securing it on the inside of the lid and we're gonna just flip up that front panel by gluing it down and it's going to just cover up. And the reason that we have that little section kind of flipped over to the front panel as well is just so you don't see any of the white box at all. So then once you have it flipped onto the interior, you have a nice and clean finish off lid. And you're basically going to repeat the same exact steps to the box, it's just a little bit of a larger scale. And what I suggest doing for the box is actually using a ruler to first mark those sections that you're going to be cutting, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing now. So I'm using a ruler to mark these sections because you're going to want to cut these nice and straight and clean. So I'm using my scissors to cut that up right to the corner because we want this to fold over and kind of hide the interior edges. Get them on all, I'll record. Adding some glue to the side panel, I'm flipping that section up, and I'm also, of course, going to be using my popsicle stick to really smooth it out. I find this works really, really nicely. And I'm doing the same thing to the opposite side, and then those little extra hangover flaps, you're going to glue those down. That way we can cover them up in the end and make sure to also secure some fabric on the inside of the box. Last but not least, we're just going to flip over our front panel, so add a nice amount of glue to the front side, flip it up and over, use your popsicle stick to smooth all edges out, and then just glue it down on the inside, cutting off any excess if needed. And that basically finishes off your storage box. I created a larger one as well, and I just did it on the lid, which is just another little option if you didn't want to have a fully patterned box. It is time for my favorite project in the video. We're using the Hylus shelf, I believe. And guys, this costs $9.99 at Ikea and it is a full metal shelf. So what I did was I first constructed it based on the instructions. And you guys probably don't really care about this because I'm not gonna teach you how to instruct a shelf when you can do it based off the instructions and it's literally eight screws. And then I'm using this macrame cord here. I'm going to link the exact one below because it's so affordable and amazing from Amazon. So what I did was I actually just went back and forth wrapping inside and out 
side of the sides of the shelf. And keep in mind that you can do this on the back side, you can do it on the sides like I did. You can really do so much, but all we're doing is kind of like a basket weaving technique. I'm not sure of the exact name, but if you guys watched uh, Rachel Metz and I's video where we did the clothing rack over on her channel, I did a very similar thing, but I just wanted to create almost like a woven edge to this that you can spray paint this metal shelving system before and then macrame it. So it would be super pretty in like a pastel color or um, in maybe a black or a white, whatever you want to do. But I actually really loved the metallic look because I thought this would be such a great plant stand to have multiple different plants on. I think the metal looks really nice with plants and then also the macrame just adds that really pretty like handmade element. So I did it all the way down one side and then when you reach the end, all you have to do is just tie it off and add a little bit of glue to the knot just to make sure that it stays nice and secure. But we're basically wrapping the macrame cord around one post, going through the center, flipping it to the opposite side um, and just creating this nice little pattern. I don't exactly know what to call it, but once you finish both sides, that is your completed macrame shelf system. So guys, those were my projects for you. I hope you did enjoy them. I absolutely love each and every one of the projects. I say that in every single video, but I really do like them. Like, I think they're very usable. I think the shelf is super cool. And for the price point, that shelf literally cost me about $20 to create and it looks super expensive. And keep in mind that you can definitely spray paint the shelf and then macrame it to match any form of decor. Uh, spray paint it like white and then macrame it to give it like more of a Scandinavian kind of boho vibe. But I really did like that sort of industrial um, look of the shelf. And I actually have an idea for a roommate makeover that I'm currently working on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and definitely subscribe to my channel below. Click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button because it's going to notify you every time I upload brand new video. And guys, there is so much fun stuff in the works right now, which I cannot talk about. I am so excited for what is coming for Lone Fox. Thank you just for being a supporter in general. So if I don't see you on here for like two weeks or so, just keep in mind I'm getting my wisdom teeth out and I have to heal from the surgery and the process and all that sort of stuff. So I will catch you guys all in my next video. Have an amazing day and an amazing back to school season if you are going back to school. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.